there's also something going on that makes me feel like adults are really not understanding how smart young people are and how, how, how much even a kindergarten can, kindergartner can understand complexity. Because what I keep hearing too is if you teach them so all about the negative parts of history, they're going to hate America. And I think that's, and I, people are nodding their heads. I keep hearing that. And I, and I even hear that when I tweet about some of my lessons on civil rights, like by you teaching about these terrible things in history, you're just making everyone hate America. What's the point? So, so I, my argument as a history teacher is we can do both. Yeah. Right. So what's, what's your advice to teachers who are hearing that I'm in New York city. So it's a lot easier for me. What's your advice for teachers who are in other places where their audience isn't as aligned with their philosophy? Yeah. I mean, especially for educators who aren't in New York, it's, it can be difficult. I'm sure. Um, but constructive criticism has been at the root of what makes America special, right? America was literally founded on conflict. Like we would not have a nation had we not wanted to be better than what we had before, right? And every single step of the way, now the same people who are, are quoting Dr. King, Dr. King was a dissenter and someone who thought that America needed to be better. So what's the difference now, right? And that's what I tell parents all the time. This isn't about hating your country. It's not about hating yourself. It's about understanding that all of us are constantly in progress. All of us are constantly growing. And what does the next iteration of America look like? An America that is finally equitable for all of us, right? And, and that has, again, that, that is what America stands for. Is it not freedom, liberty? So, if, not every, so not if, if everyone doesn't have freedom and liberty, then we're not actually doing the American thing correctly, right? 